I am two hours north of Manhattan taking a look at a farm property and guys, just breathing the air up here, I am so excited. That being said, I have no idea how to operate a farm, you know, I'm not really handy and I certainly don't have the money to do it. What I do know is what constitutes high quality animal foods, what to feed those animals, how to raise them and I have unmatched integrity in making people happy and healthy. That being said, the two things I need from you guys are one, someone that knows how to operate, is willing to run a farm, you know, interns that have worked on farms, maybe a family looking to get into homesteading, people to partner with me and work with me, you know, move to New York, uh, hypothetically, you know, live rent free in the housing, uh, pay you guys a salary, uh, work out the logistics down the line. So if you're interested in that, definitely send me an email down in the description below. Two is investors. I've had quite a few people reach out to me and already say, hey Frank, I'll fund the whole farm. I want to invest this amount of money, but I want an idea of how many people are actually interested in supporting this. And the goal is to have a publicly owned farm and expand throughout the United States to provide everyone with quality animal foods. So hypothetically, anyone that pays a membership fee, anyone that invests, gets shares in the farm. You know, your $20 membership fee, you get 20 shares, you invest $50,000, you get 50,000 shares. Keeping the company publicly owned will allow us to put our profits towards expanding and not compromise the quality of the product. You know, two, three years from now, hopefully, you know, short-term goal in the time span of a few years is to, you know, have a New York operation fully up and running, maybe start expanding to California, Texas, being able to ship to all parts of the United States reasonably, and then maybe even moving into, you know, international other countries. Shorter-term goals, we definitely want to do eggs and chickens right off the bat. You know, everyone's feeding their chicken grain, corn, soy, whatever it is. No one has good quality eggs. So our first goal is gonna be, you know, raise several hundred, a thousand chickens, get people quality eggs, then we'll start moving into dairy. And then if we have more land, if we have more investors, you know, we'll start looking into animals, wild game, uh, just quality animal foods, as well as things people don't have access to and can't get. So if you guys are interested in investing, email down below as well. Interested in running the farm, operating, wanna help me out, please reach out to me guys and as much as I would love to drop everything in my life right now and live on a farm with some smoke and Russian girl, guys, honestly, listen, I, I swear, that, that would be the one thing I'd wanna do. I just have too much of an obligation, you know, with my understanding of nutrition, my knowledge, you know, what I'm doing right now, is even with the fitness stuff, you know, reaching more people and helping more people. I have important things to do and, you know, walking around on a farm all day, you know, seems like a nice relaxing life, but uh, it's not gonna happen right now, plus, I don't know what I'm doing. I'd have to learn everything and for me to, to drop everything and learn everything, how to run a farm, do all that stuff, it's just not good with my time. So uh, if you guys are handy, if you guys know what you're doing, engineers, whatever it is, you wanna run a farm, this sounds good to you, definitely reach out to me. Investors, anyone looking at supporting this, uh, we'll, we'll think of some perks, but either way, you're going to own part of the company, part of the farm, part of the property. Uh, we're gonna take a look around the property and uh, we'll see what you guys think. But uh, this is just, you know, the first property we're looking at. By no means is it set in concrete, but uh, definitely needs to be in New York, somewhat close to me uh, off the bat. New church building across the street. Here's a barn operation with the, there's a silo. Not sure if you guys can really see it, but there's a silo there. They used to have corn to feed the cows. Huge barn, some horse stables in there. This is the residential house. Pretty much a dump knocked down the pond i was really excited for this guys if i have like a fresh water spring fed reservoir pond you know fresh water every day jump in the pond take a swim hot cold therapy seems really nice to have something like that a lot of woodland some pasture land a lot of garbage lying around you know various workshops and sheds throughout the whole property there's even a chicken coop up there by the house uh, the land up there is another house. This is subdivided. They were telling me some like really rich guy whose dad made MTV or something like owns the property over there, like about a hundred acre property, huge house on there. Uh, this is some pasture land. It goes up to woodland, but all of the land around here, it has been subdivided into make into houses. So this might not be ideal for agriculture from the standpoint where we're looking at, but there is some infrastructure here for, you know, from an older 
farm but i think this was built like over a hundred years ago so the property used to be a dairy farm uh, i don't know how many years ago probably a few dozen right now and they had you know over 50 head of cattle i think they actually had 100 head of cattle uh, that's what those grain silos were for you know they had the whole operation set up like this barn you could put you know 50 100 cattle in here right now the manure is handled hay is handled everything's managed already It's four parcels now. It's the farm here. This is the buildings. This we're in the farmhouse right now. Yeah, in the house. Right. right. Here. And here's the barn. Mm -hmm. Another barn down there. Mm -hmm. And then the one price we have on it is just with this one lot, the metal lot. And then for the right, seven fifty, so it's so for everything. Okay. So this piece here, so 6.80 acres plus the 20.94 acres uh, is how that's much? That's for 495. 495. This is 750. So you put these two lots with it. Now we're going to add these two lots, which each this one's 14.45 and this one is 11.35. Right, and that comes up to about 53, I think. Got it. And what, what type of? This is mostly woodland. Well, this is uh, this is open until you get up to here. Okay. So this you get up to here, you, you've got woods. See the woods in here? Okay. And some of this is good for pasture land. Mm -hmm. You can pasture it. Some of this gets pretty steep for pasture land when you get back up in here next to this parcel. Mm -hmm. So and that's been so Right, just so you mm -hmm. know, this was designed to build more houses. So right. what you see Three here are septic houses. I mean, there's a million dollar mm -hmm. house on this one. There's a million dollar house on this one already. Mm -hmm. And then the, the brothers, they bought this at the wrong time. And um, uh, the owner was carrying a mortgage for them. And finally, he, they couldn't keep up and he, he took this back. Okay. And that's where we stand now with him. What, what is this over here? This okay. is somebody else's property up here. That's, uh, that's a person uh, from New York uh, the guy who, who lives up there. Um, I think his father started MTB. Oh, okay. Um, so, so this isn't for sale. This isn't for sale. Uh, These are owned no. by other people. This is that could possibly be added to it. It's a it's a lot that isn't owned by Gregory, uh, but it's a parcel that I think could be bought. Okay, and there's a house on there, right? No, these are uh, no house. proposed. Oh, no house. These, house. These are proposed. The only two yeah. houses on it are here and here. Okay. So and each one of these 20. parcels have their own access by this private road. See, okay. it comes into here. This private road goes up to here, and it goes into here. This private road on this side, which is blacktopped up to going into this house, um, comes up to here and brings off over to here. Okay. And it includes this one, this one, and this one. Okay. What are, what are these sheds? What are they symbolizing? These are proposed, uh, proposed house, houses. Proposed houses, okay. They're proposed okay. houses. Yeah. Some of this was pasture land. You can see that some of it was pasture land. Do you know like what the herd size was by chance? What did they have, like 30, 40 cows? What wow. the what? The herd size? They maybe had 30, oh, 40 Oh, when cows. they had the dairy farm? Yeah. Oh, they had 100 cows or more. That yeah. barn is uh, equipped to hold a lot of cattle. Yeah. Uh, there's one stable that's probably 70 and then mm -hmm. they had us they had 100 cows here mm -hmm. but they own more land they own where the church is across the road mm -hmm. they own this up on the mountain i see okay and uh, this was original boundary line and this was original boundary line but they owned all that there was about a 300 and 300 plus acre farm 300 okay. Plus or minus, I forget now. Mm -hmm. All right, so what's he paying on Assessment. taxes for these uh, three lots in the farm? I don't know what it, you mean without the, without with the an ag exemption? Without, just, or uh, either way. With, it's about 35000 right with now. The, uh, I mean, with no ag exemption, it's about 35000 Oh, that's not bad. For for the house and these three lots? 35000 Total? Yeah, I, don't I think, think that's, that's... I don't think that's well, terrible. I'm this a, house was paying, this house was almost 30 and just for the house. Correct. That, well, that I, was crazy. 
that's the how tax, the taxes are up here? That's, the taxes on this house were crazy. Hopefully they got those down. They were close to $30,000. And I think they were going to grieve them. Because I remember that was an issue. It went down a little. It did? A little bit, I think. <clears throat> are we able to take a look at the barn? Or? Yeah. Yeah. See the ceiling height here? Yeah. These are good. These are okay for horses. So you have one, two, three stalls for horses, and actually four. This is another horse stall. Mm -hmm. And then you see the ceiling drop, and so now it turns into cattle. Mm -hmm. What's the vintage of this barn? I forget. Huh? I forgot my sheet. What's the vintage of this barn? The dimension? The vintage. The I don't have them down. No, the year it was built. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Uh, this one was built old, I'll tell you that. This yeah, right. Is prior to uh, 1900. This is uh, a 19th century barn. Yeah. The original part here. Then there was an addition put on over there. Okay. You pull the truck right up here. You load up the truck, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's <coughs> more dairy going on here. Yeah. See, there were 70 or so, 75 would be my guess, cows in here. Yeah, yeah. so they brought. Yeah, the town was all the stanchions. Yeah, for sure. So the grain from the silos comes comes through here. Well, they, this was where they walked, cows on both sides. This was the drops where the manure went. And then there was a, uh, cleaned it out and sent it out here for the manure spreader. And then throw your manure over here. All the manure went in there and they truck it away. Now they use, now they keep all the manure. Do you, do you uh, sell your manure to the organic farm? No. I use it. Oh, you use it personally? Yeah. So we started, because I'm, you know, I'm on the board, huh? I'm on the board for the uh, first rescue in Dover. And, for uh, the which? The first rescue in Dover. Oh. One of the orchids. And uh, we started selling it to the, uh, all the manure gets sold there. The manure is not particularly good. This is the way you go into the silo. You've got a problem going through there. Oh, that's how you get into the silo? Right here, sir. I think this one. That one did too. Oh, wow, look how cool that is. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Wait, what'd you say? Horse manure isn't necessarily good for... Uh... Uh, horses aren't good digesters, so you got weeds in it. Huh. I mean, it's, it's okay, but it's... Uh, Not if as you use it around flowers or things, you could be putting weeds... Oh, I see, into your uh, heart. Weed seeds. Yeah, okay, got it. Uh, got it. All right, so do you want to, I think Frank, you're, you're interested in seeing some of the land? It's, it's, it's the drive up here, right? What is it? It's a drive, there's a, yeah. Drive up a little bit if you want to see it. Yeah, we could do that. You want to do that? Do you yeah. want to hop in my car, Bob? We could do that. you got a better car to drive across. It's okay. not bad up there, but. If. So this could be all pasture up back in here. Uh, you can, uh, well, this can all be pasture land. Uh, some of it's grown up where you need a brush hog. Um, you can go up in here. I think I've driven up here. Ways. I don't want you to. We drove up here once. That's your car, but. Rebecca brought her, uh, her uh, BMW but, uh, up, up here. Up in here, this is all part of it. There's a meadow up there. Can we go this? Is this still part of it? Uh, this is all part of it. Okay. Okay, right here, 
Uh, you gotta go. You can go to your right, and we'll go up on the hill. Okay. Uh, this is the line. This is the line with the property. There's 125 acres or so up there on the hill. You're okay. looking over towards the uh, Shawangunks, and uh, yep. you see a bit of the Catskill. Uh, right here, this is the meadow lot that goes up. As you guys can see, this is a complete dump knockdown. Uh, that older gentleman knew so much about the property. He's a real estate agent in this area. And I just don't think this offers any value from a housing perspective, from a barn perspective. I don't think any of these facilities are usable. And to the cost to build something like this, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility to do it from scratch. You know, to go in here, fix up all of these things seems incredibly unrealistic. I'm not really sure where this stands from like a land standpoint, an access standpoint, you know, with the ponds, you know, with the woodland, um, the other parcels that are available, it's already been subdivided. This doesn't seem like an ideal property for what we want to do. I mean, it's pretty close and I'm sure we could manage to do it on something like this. Let me know what you guys think. As I said earlier, you know, reach out to me down in the emails below.